Really long night. Uh, you know, first you got to give Columbia credit. They kind of just took it to us uh, the second game and really thought they did uh, a great job of doing what we did the first 14 games. You know, they were the aggressor. They were getting leadoff guys on base. They were fouling off tough pitches. They were active on the bases and, and making good decisions and, uh, you know, deep in the count were uh, putting good swings on us. And, um, you know, they, they just took it to us tonight. So credit to them and um, glad we'll get a day tomorrow to kind of catch our breath and uh, hopefully get back on track next week. Yeah, I, I can't explain that that second game, the fourth inning, you know, giving up 11 runs in an inning. I think it was seven straight hits, all kind of in the same place. Um, you know, you, you, you got to execute pitches better, but, um, you know, some of those were two strikes and we just couldn't put hitters away. Um, you know, it's a com combination. You got to tip your cat to them and, and we got to do a better job executing pitches. You mentioned the energy of your team after last night's game. How do you think the transition between the first game and the second game, how do you think that went with the team's energy? Well, Columbia certainly had more energy. They had a lot more to cheer for. You know, um, I feel like when coaches talk about, like, the energy and then you're really talking about the guys that aren't playing, you know, and, and I think the fault today and, uh, and yesterday go to the guys that were on the field. And, um, you know, when you're constantly playing from behind and, and pitching through traffic, it's, it's hard to – be dishing out a bunch of high fives and yelling and going nuts, you know. Um, so um, they just they just took it to us, man. That's really all I can say. There are two freshman pitchers that came out of the Alton Davis and Caden Woods. Of course, Austin kind of got roughed up a little bit. First question about him: like, how was how was he responding? Austin, awesome. when he came off the mound, he looked you know pretty you know rough. He pretty, looked pretty upset, basically, just how he had pitched. Yeah, Alton's going to be really good. Um, you know, the, the positive is, you know, he was he was not shying away from the bat. You know, you see a lot of young pitchers, they give up a couple of hits and they start trying to nibble and dodge the bat. And he kept going right at him. Um, you know, you get a lefty touching 95, 96 and just wasn't missing any barrels. It kind of kind of defies logic. And, um, you know, he's just got to do a better job of keeping the ball out of the middle of the plate and throwing his, you know, secondary pitches for strike to get him off the fastball. Yeah, I mean, if there's one bright spot from the game, it's Cade. I thought he was outstanding. And, you know, two times ago, he looked awesome. Um, came in, as, in at Samford and just c couldn't find it, couldn't find his rhythm. Um, he's somebody that's got really high in stuff. You know, he's 93, 95 with that mid 80 slider. And um, when he's throwing those two for a strike, he's, he's really good. And he was awesome tonight. And that was definitely a bright spot for us. Yeah, you mentioned that Davis, well, he was finding barrels today. How do you balance getting him more experience and playing time versus letting the game get out of hand? Yeah, I mean that's kind of coaching, right? You got to you know develop players that you that have talent and believe in them, but you got to win the game today. So um, you know, there's certainly um, it's not always black and white. You know, there's a gray area. Um, right now, we're just trying to win ball games. You know, and we've been able to develop a lot of players because we've had a lot of separation in games. So, um, you know, it's a lot easier to get a pitcher in there. You play, you know, four days a week and um, certainly easier to get those guys in. If you got an All-American shortstop, it's hard to, you know, ever take him off the field. So, um, Alton, will, he'll continue to get opportunities. Last one, at least for me. You guys went on a four-game road trip before you play UAB and then start ICC play officially. Of course, you have that three-game season against Florida. How does this team, more simply the younger players, I know this team's very senior, how does this team kind of shake this loss and then kind of get ready for that road trip? Well, I mean, they have to. That's the only option. Um, you know, the good thing about baseball, we play often, and uh, I'm ex I wish we played tomorrow. We need to get back out and get, get back on track. So it's probably good in some ways that we have a day off tomorrow and um, can just kind of reset. Uh, excited to go to Mobile on Tuesday. A lot of Bama baseball fans down in that part of the state. It'll be a lot easier for them to come see us. Have a, a nice rivalry with South Al. It'd be fun to to get down there to that part of the state and play a good club. Uh, you know, to get to league play on Thursday, and that's kind of a new season for us.